What's up guys, it's me Crank here, back with another video. Today I'm filming in the dark, with the mic on like this. So the setup will be perfect as you can see. Hello. And here is something you would definitely not expect me to get. Especially as my kind of like, I was like, I was like my, one of my careers is suit for this. But the thing is, something like this is going to get make my life easier. And probably could help me in some ways so today is not sponsored by minecraft or oreo but they're there for fun with a number eight on it so let's go and let's see what's in here yes i was too excited to get this on my mailbox, so I just kind of turn it up so it's easy to get and open. By now, digital artists would know what I'm talking about. This beautiful box right here. Yeah, pretty sure it's gonna snap the photo. And let's just open this up. this from the side this this is the work of Indoors Prime very likey fingerprints and this is the uh, PGA660 model as you can see there you go all the specs and stuff. Oh, manufactured 2019. This one's actually a 2019 model in Taurus Pro. That's cool. So, yep, there you go. In Taurus Pro. So, I'll set the tablet aside over here because I just don't want this to be crushed by a dongle underneath. So, I'll take it out and I'll place it on top of Minecraft. And I know this is. So disrespectful to all the tech stuff, but I'm sorry. Anyway, but hey, got ourselves a plain sheet of A4 paper for some reason. I uh, probably this is for scaling of a texture sheet for, for some reason. It just flew out there for the pen. Here we have a USB type A, just your traditional type A to your type C. And it is, it is a L shaped Type C as well, so it's going to be really convenient. And here is our pen stand, it has some weight to it. Our super nice Pro Pen 2, a Pro Pen with a number 2 on it. Bums are supposed to feel all over the loose because that's where I come and that's what they do. And here we have the eraser up here as well as the pen nib. Right here, which as you can see it's in pristine condition if I zoom in it real close you can see the pen tip and the pen nib is in perfect working condition and to here we'll go to the side get ourselves I did it upside down this is where you install your pen rings so that you can easily identify your pens our manuals, the manuals, and the setup, and that's all for the box. And for the time being, I will install the damn thing onto my computer, and it's gonna take a quite a long time. So, okay. So, um, this is a Wacom tablet, and what you see above is the settings for my Wacom tablet. So, what can you do with this? Well, I'll say. A lot of lot of things, a variety of things, especially if you own a Wacom into a Pro or probably something like a Cintiq or something. It's it's basically a freaking second monitor for you. So it's a pen and touch, but the second monitor. So okay, now I can turn on touch on the side switch. You can touch on, and now this acts like a joint. 
trackpad so whenever you move you can see the shortcut keys shows as I do the action for this Wacom and other Wacoms you have express keys on the side as you can see if I tap lightly you can see each of the options it shows out this is the touch ring and when you push the touch ring you have four options with those you can do endless amount of things well maybe a little bit limited up to you know eight nine ten twelve like twelve maximum of twelve actions or whatever you want to do and with the propen 2 you also have these two buttons on the side for the propen 2 but if you have like other wacom pens i'm not sure but that's what i know for the propen 2 and for the intuos lineup and for you know lineups as a pro support pen 2 so all right as you can see from the screen right now or i can just use my trackpad i can use my pen if you want actually you can use your eraser if you want or you can use your tip if you want but in this case i'll use touch so for this you have functions you can choose to customize per app basis which is final cut pro so i have this set up to speed ramp and basically it's just anything that you do you can just customize on it based on your preferences this is all about pro pro means pro on customization like set it up so that it suits to your own needs and it's also the touch ring you can do a lot of stuff with the touch ring as well toggle and on screen controls like these you can experiment on your own this is more advanced stuff but you can just stick to express keys and touch ring those two are really important if you want to do minimum amount of customization that still suits to your own workflow so i haven't touched the touch ring settings but i will definitely look into that so if i go into here so i have a project file for my last quarantine here as you can see so you can use touch if you want but i'm recommending you turning off touch at this point now that you're working on something turn off touch because look it is perfect when you use palm rejection like sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't palm rejection but the best thing to do is well you could get yourself excuse me you could get yourself a glove or you could get yourself like a microfiber cloth just something like that and then you just put your whole uh, uh, hands in and you can just do the editing like normal if you decided you want to turn on touch and you are lazy and you don't want to turn touch off like me which i most most of the time i turn touch off so i don't need that or i don't need the gloves so it's okay for me so for this I've set this to a bunch of different modify keys. So pan and scroll, for example. Let me hold that. When you hold that, I can just pan around the clip. You can see me with a really, really, really sharp face. It's actually taken on an iPhone. I'm not bringing about iPhones or anything, but there you go. So let's say I want to make a um, speed ramping video. So yeah, I'll take this footage. This is actually a slow motion footage. But it doesn't, it has to show that slow motion here. This is more than 120 frames, but it doesn't show. So, okay, let's say I want to make a speed ramp here. I know this is not rendered, but I don't want my Mac to be rendered and running like 100 Celsius. You can cook bacon on it, but okay, back. So, now if I want to do speed ramp, you see that? Speed ramp, push that. You see the the keys, you, will, you definitely see the keys up there. So, okay, if you want to do another speed ramp, you just push that there, you push that there, and then let's say I want this transition to be, you know, fast for like, let's say, eight times, and I want this to be slow to 50%, and you want it to be, this one to be um, fast, uh twice as fast again then yeah you can just adjust this like this is per user basis like if you do a lot of speed ramping that should become really handy or oops i messed up i can undo just like that or oh no i went a bit too far redo you can see the shortcut keys on the screen so that uh, you know what to map. So yeah, how about this? This is cut. So if I don't want that clip anymore, boom, I got rid of it. I want it back. I want it back. I want it back. I want it back. Ah, 
never mind. That's what, that was redo. But yeah, so if I want to split this clip off or I just want to cut the part off, I can just hit blade. There we go. Cut the part off, cut the part off. There we go. Isn't that much easy for you guys? Again, wrong key. But yeah, see, this is all about customizing your workflow to the best of uh, you know your comfort and things like that but I hope someone would develop or maybe you know commit a git on github for some kind of plugin or an application that goes side by side with Final Cut or this is mainly a Final Cut because I, I most of the time I use Final Cut I don't use anything I did use Premiere Pro but yeah I don't like it but yeah maybe it's kind of similar to Final Cut but still the thing is customize it to your own needs if you're good at something go with it stick with it if you feel like you're good at that then you're good to go just customize it to the own needs and one more thing this is just a little fun tip i just found out so this is welcome tablet yeah a lot of people were um having a little bit of confusion in terms of how you pronounce the brand name is if you're right-handed flip upside down this works best if you're right-handed as you can see welcome Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome tablet. Or for the US speakers, it's welcome, welcome tablet. Yeah, I mean, welcome, welcome. Yeah, <laughs> just find it out. Ingenious logo design, but you know, you can just flip this tablet back into if you're left handed. Then yeah, you can just flip it back and it's the same thing, it's the same logo, it says Wacom. So yeah, there you go, a little cool trick with this wireless, by the way, this is 100% wireless via Bluetooth. I did not connect any wires for the Intuos Pro models. There are some Intuos model that doesn't need a wire as well. I mean, doesn't really need a wire, but initial setup, you still have to use the wire. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. And I don't want to keep this long. This has not been a review, but let me tell you, the experience is awesome. It's just a palm rejection that has a problem. It sort of acts up. And I hope for the macOS Big Sur, which is a new version. Big Sur. Oh my god. The best name ever. macOS Big Sur. I hope those drivers aren't going to be legacy anymore because this one time I tried to install it, it says driver, the legacy driver. Probably it's just the Mac acting up or anything. But yeah, I hope that will be resolved. And palm rejection, I don't know, it could be via software update. But yeah, either way, that's it. That's pretty much it. Thank you. And comment, like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.